Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can get drag and drop functionality from Ranger into whatever app you want to drag and drop to. Now, if you don't know, Ranger is a terminal based file manager. And by default, there's no way to transfer files out of Ranger by drag and drop with your mouse. Now, I'm on record saying I'm trying to get rid of my mouse. <laughs> I don't particularly like using my mouse. I would like to use my keyboard for everything. But many web applications like Google Drive, Dropbox, a lot of these storage applications and stuff require you to be able to drag and drop things from your file manager into your web browser. Now, obviously you could use a file picker, but a lot of the times it's just easier to drag and drop something. So this drag and drop functionality has actually kind of kept me having to use a GUI file manager. In this case, I use Nemo. And really, that's kind of the only reason why I continue to use a GUI file manager is because I oftentimes find myself having to drag and drop something from one place to another. Now, there is a very easy solution to this. So this video shouldn't actually be that long. Let's go ahead and talk about how you could do this. So in order to get drag and drop on Ranger, you have to install a program called Dragon, which is this right here. Now, it's a really small program. It looks like it's written in C and a little bit of shell. Um, I'm guessing it's mostly C. And it's still in development, so there's been some recent activity on it, but the most recent actual firm release was in 2019, but it seems to work just fine. Now, in order to install this, you have to open up a terminal. So let's go ahead and open up a terminal here. And once you've opened up a terminal, you can get clone this repository here. So we just copy this, open up the terminal again, and I always get do all my get things in a folder called get things in my, within my downloads folder. So I do get clone and then copy and paste that. And I've already done this. So it, you just hit enter on that and it will go through and it will clone that into that directory. You can CD into dragon and then you just do LS and then you just want to do make install. Now I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again. Um, but it, that's literally all you have to do in order to get this to work. And once you've done that, then you want to go through and add this line right here. Let me zoom in here so you can actually see. Uh, you, this line right here, you want to add that to your rc.conf. So if we, if I cd, oops, oops, I cd into my .config file. And let's uh, zoom in here. Oops. So you can actually see .config ranger and then vim into my rc.conf and then at the bottom here I've actually already done this so it's this line right here what you're basically doing is you're mapping command D to the dragon program okay now let's take a look at what this looks like in practice so let's go ahead and jump into a different tag here now let's say I want to transfer this file right here which is I'm not actually sure what it is I'm not actually getting a preview for some reason right now. It doesn't matter. It's, it's going to be a wallpaper of some sort. But let's say I want to take this and transfer it into Google Drive. Now, obviously, I could go through and hit New, Upload, and I'd get a, a file picker. I don't want to have to go through and do that. What I want to do is be able to drag and drop this between them. So to, to do that, I hit Control-D. Oh, I have to have make sure I actually um have the right window. So Ranger has to be the active window in order for this to work. So... Control D, and then what you see is up here in the top corner, you actually get a representation of the file. So you want to take that and actually drag it into Google Drive, and it will go through and upload the whole thing. Now, I actually was focused on the wrong thing. I wasn't focused on the picture itself, so uh, I actually ended up dragging the whole folder of city porn into this uh drive here so I can actually try this again so that it's actually the right thing so control D and then we can drop that there and we'll see that it shows up here in just a second and yep that's right that's it right there and that's how you do it that's literally all there is I've been looking for a solution for this for quite a while and I'm astonishing I'm, I'm astonished at how easy it was so 
Uh, I know this was a short video, but if you need drag and drop functionality and you want to make Ranger your default file manager, this is one more step towards making it have that functionality that maybe you don't always want to have, but it's good to have in case you need it. So thank you for watching. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at the Linux Cash. You can follow us on Facebook at the Linux Cash. You can also support us on Patreon at patreon.com slash linuxcast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank our current patrons, Devon Marcus Meglin, American Camp. Thank you for your support. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'll see you next time.